Good morning everyone. Welcome to day two of our Disneyland trip. We're really excited to share today with you. We are walking over at the park right now. Uh, we're gonna try to hit up some of the bigger rides that we missed yesterday. Then we have a really fun lunch that we'll be meeting up with a friend for. And tonight we definitely wanna catch at least one of the nighttime shows. So can't wait to share it all with you. So it is an early morning here at, or at Disneyland. It's a 7 a.m. open, and these are all people waiting in line who are not early hour guests. So we decided not to wait in that line. We're just kind of hanging out this morning. We've ridden Rise of the Resistance a few times, and we're pretty sure that's why everybody's over there waiting to get those boarding passes. So we're just gonna take it easy, wander through downtown Disney for a little bit, head in once the queues or the lines get a little bit shorter, and enjoy the morning before heading out to lunch this afternoon with a friend. Take it, adventure is out there. Awesome. So some Disneyland friends told us to come over to this area of the park. So we walked through the Grizzly Peak area and came over and they said this is a really good way of accessing Pixar Pier. And right now there's nobody here. So I say good tip. An incredible coaster, so a perfect way to start the day. in less than 10 minutes so I definitely recommend that and there's still nobody really on Incredicoaster. All right, so it is 8.30, we did Incredicoaster, we've now done Radiator Springs Racers, and I was able to take a bunch of pictures and wander around this morning. We are done here at DCA, we're headed to Disneyland. Before heading over to Disneyland, we had to stop and grab a churro. 
All right, now for our longest wait of the morning. I'm gonna get some breakfast, Churro. All right, believe it or not, we actually have never had a churro in Disneyland. So we just got the peanut butter fluffernutter churro. Uh, we had a few friends recommend it, so we figured we'll go for this one for breakfast. Um, uh, so I'm really excited to give it a try. So here we go. It's very good, it's very fresh. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's a really good flavor combo, peanut butter, marshmallow, and then there's the chocolate chips, so it's delicious. All right, so we just came over to Disneyland. One thing that's really nice here is how easy it is to park hop between the two, so it's a really short walk. But now we're gonna do our Indiana Jones ride with the Fast Pass, and we're also going to go get some more snacks. We just took the omnibus and it was a really fun and unique way of going down Main Street. But one thing I wasn't expecting is the driver shared a bunch of information. So my favorite fact that he shared is that one of the stores originally when Disneyland opened was actually a lingerie store. So the one with the balcony and kind of the details um, on Main Street originally sold lingerie. So it's time for our first Fast Pass of the day and we are doing Indy. So we're both really excited to get on this one. But a darker tale has surfaced. Many visitors are claiming loved ones have disappeared inside. probably mostly through with it but uh, then the ride broke so we were stuck there for a while they turned the lights on um, which is always cool but we were just in like a blank kind of room but then they took us through the last part of the ride so with Indy hanging and the ball coming with all the lights on so it was definitely a different experience but we're glad it happened it was really unique we are at Tropical Hideaway and we got two bao buns. So one is chicken and one's vegetable. So this is what they look like. And then these are pork lumpia. Uh, so they're gonna be kind of like egg rolls. So we're really excited to try both these. All right, I'm gonna give this a try. I think this is the chicken one. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So I like it a lot. coming up so we'll be meeting our friend Heather and we are going to Club 33 for lunch. 
We just got inside Club 33 with our friend Heather. You are able to take photos, but we can't take video, so we'll share the photos here and then give you guys a full review afterwards. With Club 33, it's a prefix menu, so you have to select from a few options. We start off with drinks, and then as our first course, we all got the sweet potato croquettes. For the second course, Heather went with a salad, and we did a potato and leek soup. As our main course, I went with a chicken and Jeff got a salmon with a lobster bisque. And then as desserts, we picked three of the four options and also finished it off with a latte. We ended the experience by grabbing a couple pictures before heading out. We just finished up with our meal at Club 33 here in Disneyland and it was absolutely amazing. So you need to have a member make a reservation for you. So we were really lucky and had a friend that was able to kind of make a reservation for us to be able to go in and experience it. But the food was outstanding. So Jeff and I both started with a drink. He got a beer, I got a mixed drink. And then as our first course, we did a sweet potato croquettes. Those might've been my favorite out of everything I ate. They were insanely delicious. And then for our second course, we both got a, a leek soup. That was really good. Uh, for our main entrees, I went with a chicken. And so the chicken was delicious, very great flavors. Jeff went with a salmon and he loved that as well. And then as a dessert, uh, each of us got a different dessert. So we had three different desserts that we kind of sampled each of them. They were all amazing. So the service was amazing. Uh, the atmosphere was great. Uh, if you ever have the opportunity, I highly recommend doing it. Um, it's a bit expensive. So for the four course meal, it was $95, but for us it was just totally worth it, a once in a lifetime type thing. And we are so thankful for the experience. So yeah, it was a great day so far. I can't wait to kind of finish out the night and see what else we get up to. All right, so we are gonna go around tonight, just go on some rides. It's pretty busy, but we're gonna try to hit up as many as we can. I think we're gonna start off with the Nemo Submarine, which we have not been on, I think, ever. So we're excited to go check that out. All right, we're just about to get on the Nemo Submarine. So really excited. We're on. It's a little bit smelly. <laughs> it's a little claustrophobic. <laughs> and we're in. We're locked in now. Secure ship for Steer three zero degrees. Here, in the shallows, we can see evidence of such geothermal forces constantly at work. Long lost community behind. We're about to enter a community of a different kind. The coral reef. Claustrophobia issues, don't do it. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But all right, on to the next ride. <laughs> off Pirates of the Caribbean. We love this one. It's so much better than the version in Disney World. We make sure to always do it when we're in town. 
definitely one of our favorite rides here in Disneyland. All right, so Heather recommended the chocolate popcorn here in Galaxy's Edge, and it smells amazing. So I'm really excited. Give it a try. Oh, yes. It's really good. It reminds me of like Cocoa Puffs on popcorn. So it, it's delicious. Here are the rules for dance club. Obviously don't put Rosner powder on the dance floor. So we just left Disneyland, we left Heather, she went home and we headed over to DCA. We're just going to wander around for a little bit, maybe grab a bite to eat before heading back to the hotel. And tomorrow is our last day here in Disneyland before we head back home. Alright, we just stopped at the Pacific Wharf Cafe in DCA and we're getting a soup and a bread bowl. So we've heard they're really good, we wanted to give it a try. All right, so here is the loaded baked potato soup from Pacific Wharf Cafe, and it's in a bread bowl. We just had the soup in the bread bowl from the Pacific Wharf, and the bread bowl was really good. So it was a sourdough, which I love. Uh, the soup inside we did was a loaded baked potato. It was okay, so Jeff thinks he would have preferred uh, some of the other options. So they had like a broccoli cheddar and a chowder, uh, but the bread bowl was really good. So if you're looking for something warm on a cooler day, I'd say it's a good option. We had an amazing day, so it was just so fun. Uh, and I love these parks, you can just jump between them. But we are both exhausted, so we are calling it for today. Thank you all so much for following along. Tomorrow will be our last day in Disneyland.